election bill enacted more than two years ago in Georgia is now in front of a federal judge. Groups like the ACLU and the Southern, Southern Poverty Law Center say the bill is unconstitutional and they want it thrown out. 11 Alive's Doug Richards reports from the federal courthouse with more. This was a bill that came hot on the heels of discredited allegations of voter fraud by President Trump and his supporters after the 2020 election. One of the biggest elements of SB 202 restricted absentee voting, requiring only a limited number of absentee drop boxes available during limited times. During the 2020 election that Joe Biden won, Georgia absentee drop boxes were widely available and popular, especially among Democratic voters. Georgia Republicans reined them in. They also reined in water and food distribution outside of polling places. The first witness in the case was Senator Harold Jones, who opposed the bill its critics called Jim Crow 2.0. The African Americans solidly vote Democrat, so in reality, the target actually is to a lot of African Americans. Federal courts don't allow TV coverage, so we can't show you the 74 year old great grandmother who testified by video saying she was unable to vote in the 2022 runoff election because her absentee ballot got rejected by county authorities at the last minute. Attorneys for the state of Georgia argue there's no evidence of voter suppression and in fact more people voted in Georgia in 2022 than ever before. Federal Judge J.P. Boulay, a former DeKalb County Superior Court judge, is expected to rule on this when he's ready. At the federal courthouse, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.